Hey kids, welcome back to math. In math, you've been learning all about addition and subtraction. Here's the thing, the more you hear these equations, you might catch yourself thinking, hold on, I know the answer to that. I don't even have to work through the problem. For example, you might see the problem one plus one, and you might automatically say, oh, it's two, I know it's two. If you can do that, that's called being fluent. Can you say that word with me? Ready? Fluent. Great job. When you're fluent in addition or subtraction, it means that you can solve those operations quickly. And we know mathematicians love to do things quicker because then you can solve more problems. So today we're going to talk about strategies to help you solve these operations quickly. To do this, you're going to need access to tools that you can use on the fly. So today, we're gonna to talk about using your fingers, counters, drawing pictures, counting forward or backward. Let's start with addition. We're gonna use the equation two plus one equals. Here's the thing, we're gonna solve it with all of the different tools that I talked about, but as we're doing it, I want you to be thinking which tool is your favorite? Which one could help you solve the equation the quickest? I'm gonna start by using my fingers because they're right here. I don't need to grab any supplies. To solve two plus one, I'm going to start by putting two fingers on one hand and one finger on the other. Because this is an addition operation, I'm joining my fingers. How many fingers do I have in all? You're right, three fingers. One, two, three. Before I go on to the next tool, we need to talk about something. Fingers are super quick, super easy, but they pose a problem. The problem with fingers is that once you go past 10, you're out of fingers. Sure, you could use your toes, but we don't wanna smell your stinky feet. And after you run out of toes, what do you do next? That's why we're gonna talk about some more strategies. All right, now we're gonna talk about counters. With me, I have two forks in one spoon. You might be saying, hold on, Mrs. Murphy. I've never seen counters that look like that. You're right, these aren't my usual counters. But look, I'm in my house. I don't have any counters here. I'm just kind of thinking of counters as something you can count. And I've got lots of silverware, so I can count these things. Anyways, if I want to solve the problem two plus one, I need two of one object and one of another. Just like with my fingers, I can join them together. I have one, two, three. Just like with my fingers, two plus one equals three. Now it's time we talk about drawing pictures. As long as you have something to draw on and something to draw with, you're good to go. Remember, the goal of being fluent is being quick. So when you're drawing a picture, you don't wanna draw your best artwork ever. I personally like to draw counters. For two plus one, I'll start by drawing two counters and then I'll draw one more. Now I need to count all of them to see how many counters in all. One, two, three. Two plus one equals three. The final strategy we're going to talk about is counting up. But here's the thing, this strategy is taking place in my brain. I'm just showing it on my board to help you visualize. You don't actually have to write this down. So I have the equation two plus one. In my brain, I'm thinking that I'm starting at the number two. And then I know that if I went up one, I get to three. Two plus one equals three. Now that you know about all these different strategies, stop and think. Which one did you think was the easiest for you? Do you like using your fingers? Do you like using counters? Drawing a picture? Counting on? Whatever your favorite is, it's time to put it to the test. We're gonna play a game. I'm going to give you a series of addition equations. 
It's your job to solve them before the time's up. See how many you can get. learn how to use those strategies for addition, it's time to talk about subtraction. To practice subtraction, let's use the equation 4 minus 1. We'll start again by using our fingers, because they're right here. I'm going to start with 4. To show minus 1, I need to understand minus means take away. So I'm going to take away one of my fingers. How many fingers are left? You're right, three. Just like before with addition. Fingers are super quick, super easy, but remember, if you're using numbers bigger than 10, you can't use them anymore, unless you figure out how to grow some more fingers. Let's talk about the next strategy. The next strategy is using counters. Were you paying attention? Do you remember why I don't actually have counters? You're right, I'm at my house. Why can I use these instead? You are a good listener. I can use anything that you can count. For this problem, I need to start with four forks because it started with four. To show that I took away one, I just need to get rid of one fork. How many forks do I have now? You got it, three again. Four minus one equals three. Let's check out the next strategy. The next strategy is drawing a picture. Just like with addition, I'm going to be drawing counters. Do you remember why that is? Gosh, you're good at this. You're right, it's because it's quicker. Since my equation is four minus one, I need to start with four counters. One, two, three, four. To show that I took away one, I can draw an X on one counter. How many counters are left? You're right, three counters. Four minus one equals three. Let's check out the last strategy. The last strategy is counting backwards. Remember, this is a strategy that takes place in your brain. The picture is just to help you visualize what I'm thinking. When I'm thinking about four minus one, I start by thinking about the number four. Since it's minus one, I'm going to count backwards by one. The number that comes before four is three. Again, four minus one equals three. Now that you know how to use all the strategies for subtraction, it's time for you to pick your favorite strategy. Is it using your fingers or using counters? Did you like drawing a picture or maybe counting backwards? Whatever it is, pick your strategy and let's play that same game as we did with addition. I'm going to give you a series of subtraction equations. See if you can solve them before the time's up.
That was so much fun. Thanks for playing with me. And don't worry, if you didn't get them all before the time was up, that's okay. Practice makes you even quicker. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.